Behind me is a video of a person in the actively dying phase. They are showing a perfect example of chain stokes breathing. It's categorized as deep, rapid breathing, followed by a long pause. Deep, rapid breathed, breathing, followed by a long pause. I think it's important for you to watch this video because to see it is to normalize it and to educate yourself on it. So when you do see it with your loved one at the end of life, you're not as scared and you know it's normal and it's a normal part of the death and dying process. So trigger warning, let's pause, let's watch this video together and I'll talk you through it. Here it comes. Okay, so pay close attention to the chest area. You'll see the chest rising and falling pretty rapidly. Do you see the mouth is open, very normal because the muscles are relaxed so we're not keeping our mouth shut. This person is likely unconscious. You see the chest rising and falling. Pretty soon it's gonna start slowing down and then you will not see them breathe for quite some time. See how it looks like they're not breathing? And then you'll soon start seeing them rapidly breathe again. Keep watching. There we go. And then you'll start seeing the rapid breath again. Again, all very normal and to be expected at the end of life. This person is unconscious and not being affected. If that person was truly feeling like they could not breathe, they would show you with their body, with their facial expressions, they'd be restless, they'd be agitated, they would look panicked. This person is not looking or acting like that. And this is a normal function of the body. This will normally happen at the end of life if you're not doing any interventions to keep this person alive. So this person is likely unconscious and just going through the regular stages of death and dying and changes in breathing is one of those regular things. Uh, so it's important that we educate ourselves on that. So thanks for sticking with me. Let me know your questions in the comments.